Why'd I become a speedrunner? I guess it was the weather. How'd I fire so many bullets with so few people dying? Here we are, once again. Hello and welcome to what is hopefully, uh, I have to reset because my death count is incorrect. Whoops. Hello and welcome to what is hopefully my final attempt at completing GTA 5 without taking any damage. I have a max HP of 1, so any damage from any source will immediately kill me. I also want this to be a no hit run, so Trevor's special ability is disabled. Because while it prevents you from taking damage, it does not prevent you from being hit by things. I have successfully completed every single mission without taking any damage, I shall have yet to do it all in one go. My current personal best for an entire run is one bit of damage and therefore one death. Obviously very close to a perfect run, so I'm hoping this time I get an actual perfect run and avoid all damage entirely. As a matter of fact, my personal best now is getting to the very final mission to the very final firefight before taking any damage. I would really like to change that and actually succeed for once. So in this scene, none of the enemies can use guns in cars, so as long as I kill them while they're in cars, they can't kill me. There are two guys outside the gate, but they don't tend to shoot me. They got knocked away, that's terrible. Well, that's not good. Bit sloppy, but I'm not resetting just to make myself look good for YouTube. You'll see me sometimes jumping. This is because I don't have HP to burn for stamina. This is the fastest I can move without using stamina. That was some terrible shooting, but that's okay. So I'm skipping over the snow here to avoid uh, taking damage from the guys at the uh, roadblock over there. Putting a little distance between me and them. Unfortunately, still can't beat the train because I'm back. If my shooting had just been better in the first scene, wouldn't have been hit by the train. It's true. Okay, grabbing my gun here, not being shot, because that's, you know, kind of the aim of the game, shooting this guy in the head. Because it's the best place to shoot people, other than the shins, of course. Shins just as lethal as headshots. Well, technically they're not, it takes a few more shots, but you get the idea. They die. I just ran a bit further there than normal. Take cover, bro. It's your only hope. Oh, shit. He ain't meant to do that. He ain't meant to do that, chat. So opening that so that I can kill the guy when he spawns. I'm letting Lamar kill this dude because he's a pain in the ass. Am I going to embarrass myself missing the shot? Where is he? Oh! How the fuck did he get- did he run across and I just didn't see it? What? I mean, I got the shot. That was impressive. <laughs> I know what happened there, man. It came, came from underneath rather from the side. That wasn't too bad. Nice. Is this going on YouTube? You mean this very second, this very moment, on this particular day, at this particular time? Maybe. Maybe. So unfortunately, we're no longer fighting fair against Simeon. Simeon's days of hand-to-hand -hand combat are done. We're doing the shit from pacifist where we make him pa uh, passive. Because when we're outside, he's like, come back, brah. Oh, shit. Press the wrong button. I'm gonna die now. Okay. What? Why is it not kicking him? What? What? Why is it not kicking him? I am locking on. What? I guess because uh, when I normally do this, he isn't close to the car. So it was locking me on, but then it was just forcing me to cover anyway. So I guess that's it for today. 
I did dodge, but it did, you know. I may as well just uh, work on it now. Yeah, so I guess normally he isn't near the car, so it's not an issue. Start over? Nah, this run's just trash. So I don't think this is safer than the normal strategy. And dodging while locking on doesn't seem to work. Because I am dodging there whenever he does that particular cut. Is it because I'm moving backwards? Maybe, maybe when you're moving backwards, you can't dodge? You think you can take me? No! I am pressing spacebar. Holding dodge does nothing. You think you can take me? No! Maybe it's because I, mean, I need to use L. You think you can take me? No! The dodge doesn't work. I am holding my click. See, see, I can dodge normal attacks, I just can't dodge that particular attack. No! That, that attack doesn't seem to be dodgeable. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I guess good to finish a move because I have no HP. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, hey, I joined when he started. Again, considering how many runs I have started, that's not too unusual. You'll see me sometimes jumping. This is because I don't have the HP to simply burn for stamina like you normally do when you play the game. And jumping is the fastest movement outdoors that doesn't use stamina. Easy. Have you ever died on the first mission here? Presumably. I've died everywhere. If people want to see some evidence that I am an expert at this game, I just show them visuals of me failing and dying in literally every frame of this game. Why doesn't jumping use stamina? It's meant to mirror real life. Have you never jumped around? I for one jump everywhere and never get tired. Of course I jump around all the time. I'm Australian. It's like the law. You gotta, you know, act like you're a kangaroo so the kangaroos don't come and kill us. They see us hopping around and they're like, oh well, you know, they are hopping so maybe they are kangaroos. I'll leave them alone for now. But we'll keep watching. <laughs> what? Weird. Nice. Cool. When you look at the blood patterns on the characters, they can almost act like those in ink block tests. Everyone sees something different. I kind of see the Superman symbol. Or maybe like the Batman symbol or something. The damn shadow of that plane scared the fuck out of me just then. No, please be happy. Happiness is an illusion made by greeting card companies to make you feel guilty about not having it. Facts. Pew! Dramatic reload. Is this a practice one run? What, what in any way, shape or form suggests this is a practice one? It's like you've walked into Target and you're like, is this a fake store? You get into just a random taxi and you're like, am I being pranked? Is this a fake taxi? Is someone about to proposition me for sex? Tax drivers can look at you and go, what? What the fuck are you talking about? And then of course you'll say yes, but you know. I know you just got into my cab, but do you want to fuck? So I'm going back to beating our old pal Simeon in a fair fight. The other strat of trying to make him passive just isn't as consistent as I hoped. I also discovered during that that the attack that Simeon does here sometimes is a finishing move because I only have one HP and it's actually undodgeable. Good to know. Not that I ever really wanted to do a dodging strategy, still. So as always on Days to the Girl, I'm grabbing my Uzi to help me with the guys and the jet skis. Haven't failed in quite a while, I don't intend to start now. I also grab myself a suppressor on my pistol to help with the jewel store heist setup to prevent me from getting the cops. Yes, chat. My Uzi. Matt, don't die. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. Okay. Uzi time. Perfect. Waves were kind and the shooting was good. Jimmy, you D-bag. 
I didn't want to hit him because you can't actually fail doing that. <laughs> So I'm doing the smart setup for the jewel store heist because I can do it without getting the cops on me, which is obviously advantageous because no cops means no guns and no bullets and no damage. Why is my name Mass? I chose it. My other options were Steve and King Charles IV. Seemed like the best option. Time to die, random dude. Dead. You were half expecting me to say Davy. That's the point, man. I was simply defying expectations. No cars parked? Really? Wow. I don't think I've ever driven this car before. I mean this type of car. Obviously I've never driven this specific car before because it, it, it's, it's this specific car, but you know what I'm saying. I was just driving one? No, I wasn't. This one has a ladder and poles. Did that guy just swerve over completely into me? Why? Had to wait to shoot to make sure I was actually on the mission or else I would have got the cops. My guy. My guy. Run, Cato. Come on, get in. Heist and no place for felines. Oh, a cat right, almost got run over. Highest enough for right. felines. But what about cat burglars? Yeah, okay, you so got me there. Once more, chat has shown me to be a fallible person. I bow to the wisdom of Twitch chat. Do I think Oko will ever finish? If you're using one hit KO as an allegory for suffering, and no, I do not think my suffering will ever end. Is your first stream? Welcome to the stream. The land of nothing but positivity and happiness. As always, grabbing all the money here so that I can afford to buy myself a car and a bunch of weapon and car upgrades throughout the run. So here on the jewel store heist, I take a little custom route here to avoid the cops. Unfortunately, it is not perfectly safe. When I'm crossing the street, there is a small chance that I can be shot. In order to make this small chance an even smaller chance, I use something called the Alt Strat. This is when I hold down the character swap button and it makes the game move very slow, but also have trouble loading in assets like bullets and guns. This means that there's less of a chance of me being shot, of course. I can still be shot, but it is a smaller chance. The downside of this is that, you know, it's hard to drive, everything's slow, I can't shoot my gun, I can't change my camera angle, I can still die to melee hits, but given that it makes me a little bit safe, at least a little bit more safe, in a variety of spots, it is still worth using it. So I want to go as fast as I possibly can here, so that I avoid the guys falling on top of my head, and I also avoid the cops arriving and being able to shoot me. Okay. Weird started there, I was worried I was gonna hit the bus. This guy, bang. The route I'm taking here is a speedrun route. All I'm doing is staying within range of my allies. While they're going underground, I'm going above ground. It's faster and it makes it so that there are less cops at the end. So there are three guys who spawn at the end here. I do not have time to kill all three. So I use Franklin's ability to get better shooting. I shoot one guy and switch to alt strat. Then I move into this tunnel, which is where the game expects me to have come out had I done this casually. Moving to Michael here, I'm going in first person and ducking. This is so that it merges me into my seat, so there's less of me that can be shot. Even with this though, there's still a chance I can be shot, so I use alt strat here. Only in first person does it actually merge you into the seat, it's so it can give you this particular camera angle. This same benefit of having less of you that can be shot does not exist in third person.
This guy on the left can also shoot me, hypothetically, so I use alt strat here too. And I'm home free. How do they lose me here? It is really dumb. Like, if you go slow, like, the cops can be literally on either side of you, and it'll say you've lost them. Uh, you can see it in facts and glitches, if you like. Come in what episode. What I recommend is you watch every episode of Facts and Glitches to find that particular fact. And even when you find it, just, just keep watching them. <laughs> so rather than going into hood, uh, sorry, long stretch here, which is what you do in the speed run, instead I'm going to do Mr. Phillips. This is so I can do long stretch far, far later in the run, so that Franklin has a lot more weapons unlocked, which makes the mission far easier. So here on Mr. Phillips, I want to get myself a snap rifle to make the mission far easier. Unfortunately, I can't get it from an ammunition. I have to go grab from the map. I grab it twice to get 20 bullets. Wait, Someone make a poll quickly. Should I kill the bird or not kill the bird? Ah, it's probably too late now. I see a lot more kills than not kill. Here is my snap rifle. Bird was eyeing it, thinking it was going to take it. What's the result of the poll, guys? Mods? Quickly, what's the poll? Six seconds too long? What's the poll say? It says yes. Okay. It is what the internet wanted. It is what it demanded. I am but a servant of Twitch chat. Wait, the poll is, it says both yes and yes. There was literally no option for no. <laughs> Really funny. 83% <laughs> voted yes and 17% voted yes. <laughs> That's great. Yoink. This is totally a democracy. You just can, you know, you just only have one option. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the share head. She was looking kind of dumb with a finger and a thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. So rather than spawning all the enemies, as maybe you would expect that I would had you never seen this series before, I'm instead going to park my card down here next to this pole. There are two things I'm abusing here. First, when you're in first person and you're in stealth, you have some good cover on Trevor's car here, but if you aim down the sight of a snipe rifle, the scope goes above your head just because the game uh, distorts your body to give you that particular camera angle. Next thing I'm using is a buffered ledge grab to walk myself away from the enemies and out of their range of fire. Hold the perimeter, fuckwits. Daddy's going to work. It's terrible. I'm definitely tired. So this guy just drives away in these spawns, which is obviously better than taking a risk and shooting him. Not that there's much risk, mind you, but still. Okay, with him gone, we gotta look out for cougars. I actually see no animals up there. That's uncommon. The cougars scared them away. Oh no, there's two bunnies there, there's two bunnies. Just no cows. So I'm doing the same thing I did over there with the rest of these guys. The hitbox of this car is kind of weird. Easy. And I'm done. Without seeing a single cougar. My bad. So here on Trevor Philip Industries, buying myself some grenades as well as an extended mag. I'm also doing a bit of a new strat here, so that I don't have to be in a vulnerable situation chucking grenades at the cars as they arrive. Okay. Why do I buy every attachment? It is possible that a larger gun blocks bullets. I'm not 100% sure that's true. So I'll basically be moving away from the wall and putting a wall between me and the two guys who can actually shoot me and trying to kill everyone while they're still in cars.
None of those guys died. Like, none of them died. That was actually really impressive. How did I fire so many bullets with so few people dying? Um, so one more needs to die before the next guy spawn. Probably shouldn't have stood there as long as I did. Just gonna chuck some grenades and hopefully get one. Got one, got two. Chef is able to kill everyone out the front, so it's not too bad. Okay, cool. I was looking on the map and I'm like, it's saying he's still alive, but he's totally not alive. For you is a Sloppy, but still probably less risky than the old strat. Cool. So moving into Nervous Ron here, I'm grabbing myself a bunch of C4 from the map because I can't buy it from an ammunition. It helps me blow up one particular van. Or if it doesn't blow up the van, at least it'll kill the guys as they get out of it. There it is. Watch out for the so just like on Mr. Phillips, I'm out distancing the enemies and then picking them off with snap rifles. Or, well, just the one snap rifle I have, but you get the idea. This mission can be tough, a little bit at least, because these guys can kind of sneak up on me. Or I could fail to find some and have to do some weird stuff to catch them. Okay, got that extra dude over there, which is very good. There's usually a guy there. He's not there. Oh, there's one. There he is. So I, because I got one extra guy that was there, I shouldn't have to hunt people down. I'm one shot. Did I get both of them here? So maybe there's one on the left? I mustn't have got them both from the van. Van is too far away for grenade launcher. The glass isn't even breaking here, so I can't even see through it really. If there was a dude on the left, he would have been attracted when I ran forward. Yeah, beats me. So let me go see if he's behind this fan. I might just die here. I have no experience doing this. Yeah, it beats me. I'm so confused. I have no idea where this guy's hiding. I'm just gonna mission fail and uh, try again. Wherever that guy is, he's this year's hide and seek champion. I thought about blowing up the van, but it's not worth it, I don't think. So let's play again. Round two, fights. Two guys there that time. Ah, oh, there's gonna be an extra guy in the uh, shootout now. There goes that guy over there. That's terrible. So we definitely now know there's a guy gone to the left. And your guess is as good as mine where he ends up. What is this car here? What? What is that car? Was that the extra dude? What is that car? I've never seen that car before. Was that the extra dude or was that a different dude? I'm still one short. How am I one short again? Oh, there he is. Crap. Lucky I was still far enough away. He blended in really well there. I was too impatient. That was the worst. That mission has gone in quite a while. 
So one, two, no, so one, two and a half. This is where the van ends up. So because I mission failed, there'll be one extra guy in the next scene on a bike. He has never shot me, but then again, I haven't mission failed all that much in this mission. So no C4 can be used past this point, which is kind of annoying because there's two annoying guys in the next scene, one who spawns there and one who spawns there. The odds of them getting me before I can get them is very low, but it has happened a few times. Guy in the right I can ignore because he doesn't fire. Got him. He's already firing, wow. Can't treat these vans too early or the guys dive out of the car. Not blowing up. Okay, well, van still didn't explode. But fortunately the explosions got them. And so, so, I mean, the, the two bikers back there, there's usually only one. So that didn't go very well at all. This mission has sucked, but we're through it, so who cares? Oh shit. Ah, uh, I didn't do the new strat here. Well, because I didn't do the new strat, I'm going to have to use old strat here. There is another strat you can do here to make it so the bikers are ahead of you, so you can just turn around and fly away. But it's, because I didn't do that, I have to use old strat to get into the air. There's a bunch of bikers behind me now with pistols and I'm just stopping them from shooting so I can get into the air but there is a small chance they can not shoot anyway so I point my tail in their general direction so if they do happen to fire they will hit the plane instead of me reminded me too late I was just too distracted as to uh, you know just how bad that mission went And explain the new strat. For the new strat, you look behind you, shoot your gun, and then uh, let the cutscene play out, causing the bikers to drive forward past you during the cutscene. So when the cutscene ends, the bikers are way ahead of you, thus can't shoot you, and you can just turn around, fly, mission fail, and you get warped to about where I am now. Okay, let's go. A less elegant strat, but just as good. Why didn't I blow up the van earlier? You mean when I was looking for that dude? In general, I was just concerned because I had no reason to believe the dude was actually behind the van. So I was concerned the longer that I sat there, the higher the risk that something I'd never experienced before was going to take me out. So it just seems safer to, you know, mission fail and deal with the devil I know rather than the devil that I don't. Here at the beginning of Crystal Maze, there's an advantageous effect that enables me to not be able to get a wanted level. This means I can go to the military base, grab myself a tank and a minigun to help me with this and future missions. I sound like your English teacher trying to make jokes. Sounds like they should start speedrunning GTA 5. Think they could do well. If there's any relationship between making jokes like me and speedrunning skill, okay, your yeah, English teacher would probably be shit too. But, you know, they could still try and maybe be entertaining while they do it. Hello everyone. So I just picked up the minigun there and I'm going to pick it up twice more to get myself 3000 bullets to help on minor turbulence move vehicles. How you guys doing? That's good. What a clusterfuck? No. Not getting this chair out of here. Easy. Okay. Nah, got it stuck again. Dang. All good. You guys just saw some fierce chair on chair action right there. Hopefully, I don't get banned for it. Normally you gotta pay $9.95 on some seedy websites to see that kind of hardcore action. And I'm giving it to you for free. It's kind of the generous guy that I am. Damn tank didn't show up this time. I need to grab the tank away from enemies because there is a risk that they will shoot me while I'm stealing it. 
Where's my tank, bruh? There it is. Uh, this is probably a fine spot. Wow! Wow! I agree, I am impressive. So unfortunately, a tank isn't entirely impenetrable. There is a small gap around the little hatch that I get into it with, uh, where bullets can penetrate. So you'll see in this next fight that I'll be pointing the front of my tank away from the enemies so that they can't shoot through this hatch. It's by challenging the tank. A mistake. And this guy does not learn from his friend's mistake. Okay, maybe he does. He just, he really just got nothing in the water there? Weird. You know, chat, I have yet to succeed in a run, and every single run, I have let the pig go escape. There could be a connection here. Maybe killing the pig is ultimately the key to my success. Are you talking to me? Uh-oh, they called him the pig. Are you talking to me? You shouldn't have done that. Are you talking to me? Now they're in for it. They call me Mr. Pig! Sacrifices must be made for the greater good. It even registered it as an enemy. Guy's actually done some damage to my tank. Hope it doesn't uh, come back and bite me later. I'm getting shot at. Here's a big one. <laughs> this boat is not gonna pass. Uh, I feel like it kinda won, not me. More like I didn't pass its, te its test. <laughs> Beyblade tank. Okay, so I've done quite a bit of damage to this tank, giving the hillbillies a bit more of a chance. Benevolence! Beyond reason! So putting the hatch as far away from the enemy as possible. Keep in mind that each of the glass windows can reflect bullets exactly once. Who dares shoot at me? There we go. How about a murder, you, brick? you gotta respect the ball, seeing a tank outside and running out to meet it. You assholes. There's one more dude. As long as Trevor's not speaking, I know there's no one alive, but I have to wait out the fire anyway. How's my day? Same as every day. Full of magic, fun, and excitement. Living the dream, baby. Stop him! Shit! He's in the Boop. Well, look at this. I'm gonna... Okay. So now that that's over, I'm going to go put the tank in Trevor's airfield so I can use it later for military hardware. Don't know why I went to save the game there. How many of my viewers are Aussies? At least two. Time for the most boring mission in the game, where I have a chance to die. When I say I have a chance, it's like theoretical. As long as I'm doing stealth strats, I don't know how the hell I'd die here. But knowing me, you know, I always find a way. You know, it's seen from The Simpsons how Homer uh, before, like, like sets off a nuclear reaction despite there being no material making that possible. I'm like that, except damage in this game.
Yep, it's ice cream time. He's excited. I love that this is not over, then immediately that it's over. Matt completes Oko and recreates Orange Selfie. You know, Maybe for Halloween I'll dress up as myself except Orange and reenact that. I hate this mission. Give you the money, Lester. Give you the money. Where's my money, Lebowski? Thank you. Okay. I will do my damnedest not to fail this shooting chat. It's harder than it looks. The guns can fire even after the people are dead, and if I miss a shot, there's a significant possibility of just immediate death. Let's go, man. Ah, uh, he blocked the door. Now he can't find his way out. Here I go. This is super rare. He literally can't find his way out. That's 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 it. Really. Shoot him through the wall. It's fine. Now there's this guy. More fuel. That bullet go through his head? Huh. Reloading. Get my SMG. This building. What a gentleman holding the door open for me like that. Carry on with your business. Now for the annoying part. It's a little bit slow there. Nice. So considering all the glitches that happened running for that truck, I'm just going to go back to taking the car. How easy this is just depends on the spawns. Should have shot open the window. Car spawns terrible. So the heli spawn was in the direction that you kind of want to go these cop cars in the direction that you don't want to go and uh, but, yeah. so basically both sides were blocked off and there was nothing I could do. In the vast majority of cases I'd be fine just to you know floor it through here right. These these cops given that they're in cars are unlikely to fire immediately and whatnot it's just uh, not worth the risk and I want to go in the most direct direction away from the helicopter which happens to be through here. Driving's a little bit harder. So the helicopter was far enough away. Okay. Viper, should I be more focused on school or you? Definitely 100% school. Hey, it wasn't too bad. Rather the getaway had been a little bit cleaner, but whatever. Should you drop out of school to watch my streams more? Oh, that was an option? Hell yeah, man. Nope. Just, just remove any possible responsibility from your life so you have as much time as possible to watch my stream. As a matter of fact, uh, even when I'm not live, just hang out in my offline chat to wait for the nanosecond that I start streaming. It's the only responsible thing to do. You sold my family into slavery to buy my merch? Good move. At any given time, you can only really have one family and society uh, not judge you poorly, you know? So what you gotta do 
is the second you have a family, immediately sell them. Because this frees you up to get another family as soon as possible. Maximize your gains through family selling by selling them as soon as possible. The longer you hold on to them, man, just, it's just a, a opportunity cost, you know? So the only really difficult thing about this mission is the first helicopter that attacks Franklin. If you don't shoot down fast enough, it can get close and shoot you, even as it's falling. That's unfortunate. I got one of the shooters, and it's the shooter who's going to be closest to me. The other dude shouldn't be able to shoot me because he's facing away from me. I am using old strat, and as I said, it's only you know, somewhat safer. Uh, technically, people can shoot through old strat, and these guys have shot through old strat before, but he's not even looking towards me, so there's no real chance he's going to shoot me here. There was below average, though, taking four shots. Nice. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Matt, I'm curious, do you exercise regularly? Uh, I exercise my patience when I look at Twitch chat. You test it every day. And unlike normal exercise, with your testing of my patience, my patience gets weaker every day. Do I know Small and he's my brother? Can't you see the family resemblance? He was always mother's favorite. That's why she talks to him on Twitter, but won't talk to me. Time for Franklin's section. Gonna buy him every weapon under the sun and upgrade his car to do long stretch and hood safari. So pink. Given that like every single color is typed in chat, I could just pick a random color and it would be believable that that was written in chat. I don't do that though, chat. Mamba didn't raise no bamboozler. Fista pink, I hardly knew her. Wait, I hardly know her. Dang it. You gotta watch out, fool. Rip. You wish you knew how to pass your final exams? My dude, I can tell you that right now. All you have to do is get a higher grade than the required grade that you need to pass. And then you pass. It's pretty crazy. I have given you this knowledge, so now you have to subscribe with Twitch Prime. <laughs> Man, I hope I don't fail this. I'm like, I'm like barely mentally there right now. So buying every weapon under the sun. Franklin, unfortunately, can't carry too many weapons. Uh, I mean, bullets rather, because he has a low shooting skill. I once more didn't buy Trevor weapons. So I'll buy them after the mission. This first room can reliably be done by Stretch and Lamar, but it still makes sense for me to help. Because I can pretty reliably fire through this box here. I didn't mention it this run, but you can fire through the sides of basically anything from the right distance, if you're aiming off to the right. You can do it left as well, it's just a little bit harder. Okay. Hate this thing so much. He so frequently gets a shot off now. You're kidding me, dude. I thought I died. The the other guy didn't die? How? At least I took no damage, but what the fuck? How? See, he's getting that shot off. Maybe next time I'll get it. Okay, trigger them. 
I get no guys then I got one I think. It's far less than normal. It's three. Four. Okay. Trigger Lamar to kill this dude. Need to wait a second here. Good. This pulse will shoot a little bit too early there and miss a few. Why the gunfire? Why the gunfire? So in this room, I have to rely on Lamar and Stretch far more. It's just a very dangerous room if I go in myself. Is a guy up here I can kill them? That's, I don't know why I did that. It's just, it's just dumb and risky. I can help, man, I swear. Okay, let me run in here with Alt Strat. Got to be careful where I stand in here. It is possible I get shot through a small gap if I stand in front of it. Uh, the car should still be out there, yeah. Okay, let's see if I can pick some of these off with my sniper rifle. Guy there. I think I got him there. Saw a flash, maybe. He's dead anyway. Sir, please die. Thank you. He's not dead. Now he's dead. <sighs> okay. So this person who spawns here, I can kill them before they spawn, but it's just safer to let them spawn before I kill them. There's small possibilities of bugs if uh, I kill them too early. Alrighty. There's a time when one of these guys actually survived this explosion, so I'm just gonna hang off to the side after I kill them. He really did fluke at that one time he survived. Barely see the tail of this helicopter here. Here I'm triggering Lamar and Stretch so they move. I'm not shooting down this helicopter because it's unable to shoot at me. But leaving it alive means that other helicopters that can shoot at me won't spawn. I'm going to get my car that I brought to the mission. What color will the cat be? It's gray. Hello, gray catto. It still runs into the thing. I guess it gets confused when it runs into me. Please. Okay. Took a few too many shots in my opinion. Clearly that dude ate his wheat bix for breakfast. As we all know, wheat bix make your head more resistant to bullets. Time for Hood Safai. I will grab Trevor those weapons I said I would grab him before. Weird. Confirmed, Trevor is Big Spoon. Some of the AP pistol and heavy snap rifle. You say what? I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. So at the beginning of this mission, there is a tiny possibility that I get shot from a bullet uh, across the street. Old Strat doesn't immediately engage, so this shot can come in through Old Strat. So what I'm gonna tr do here is use a buffered ledge grab. You can carry a buffered ledge grab through through the cutscene because you end the cutscene while in cover. I'm not sure if this necessarily 
is much safer, but, you know, it's worth testing until it doesn't work. The biggest problem with this mission is Lamar and Trevor, they both can die, so I need to help out, but the more I help out, the more risk I put upon myself. Just spamming Q here. And now we begin. Like, how does that hit no one? Okay, I think I got someone there. I think this guy's coming for me. Didn't get him. Nice. Gotta keep watching the map to make sure none of these guys come to me. It's funny that he also was taking cover on the, uh, bit of material that isn't there that Lamar normally takes cover on. So there's only some angles here that I can shoot from cover. Other angles I have to actually pop up and put myself to risk. There's a lot here, I'm not really comfortable popping up. Maybe one more. Ah, kill him Lamar. Good. So this guy who's still alive, yeah, he's the only guy who uh, determines whether Trevor moves up or not. Trevor's health is not low, which is good. Wasn't at the right angle there to shoot through the wall, that sucks. There's two particular guys I really need to pick off. One that's up there. There's a guy in the middle of the street here which has got me concerned. This guy here. Well, that's that's the guy who concerned me. I but come on, wall, please. Okay. So the rest of this should be fine. Okay. So this is gonna be an intentional fail here. Now be putting C4 on Lamar's jet ski to blow it up so that it despawns the cops. I don't have a black arrow here. Which is uncommon for this spot. The car that spawns on the left. AP pistol is just so much more accurate than the Uruzi. So I used to use a minigun here to shoot down this helicopter, but to do that I had to move within its range. Turns out a heavy sniper is a little bit better because I don't have to go in its range. Oh, I so thought that was going to hit Franklin. So originally I was worried about getting shot by the cops on the sides here, but it seems as though if you just go fast enough, they don't have time to get out of their cars. So I'm gonna kinda floor it on the left here. Those guys shoot, but because I'm so close to them, they can't fire me. This helicopter is on my left, but it's not in a spot that should be bad for me. Yeah, we're good. It didn't go so badly. Don't think there were really any problems there. There we are, all yours. Fuck you too. I didn't buy the fucking things. And now I'm gonna lose my taxi. Faster. No, don't leave me. No, I don't want to drink. Was it worth it, Trevor? So Meriwether got some good strats, so I don't stress it 
a huge amount, but I have failed it a handful of times. Even recently, I failed it once by missing five shots. So I will treat it with the utmost seriousness. This first section is a piece of cake because Franklin can just kill everyone with his heat signature. Heat signature? What the fuck is a heat signature? You don't use a pen to sign something, you just sign with your hands and there's a heat signature there. See, I'm killing the people because I can see them because they're hoss. Yeah, that's hot. That's hot. Did I get everyone? I did. Every time he says it, every single time. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. Take my hands, we'll make it, I swear. Whoa, living on a prayer. <laughs> Um, anyway, so the secret here, there's actually a lot of fog here, which is really annoying. That doesn't, that doesn't always happen, always happen, but, um, anyone past these boxes that way, they can't actually shoot Franklin because they're too far away. Here's the door. Additionally, I need to make sure that okay, I don't shoot the drivers of these cars. If I shoot the drivers, then everyone gets out and they can shoot me earlier. The longer the driver's alive, the longer I have to shoot these guys. Immediately failed. Okay, well that was lucky. It's harder than it looks to not hit the driver, okay? Because it goes through people. Got no one there, it's impressive. Okay, that was far from perfect, but I succeeded, so let's not complain. Don't shoot the driver, immediately shoots the driver. <laughs> What? I, th I personally felt all those bullets were on target, Rockstar, but uh, I guess I'm not the one who determines that. So it's the mission done because the rest of these guys, they're too far away to shoot from them. Yeah. So Blitz play is still really stressful. I always seem to find new ways that I can fail on it. There is some small differences that I'm doing in terms of placements of proximity mines and stuff, but it's about the same still. Funny how he dies immediately with the second guy is just bullet resistant for a bit. So I'm gonna do three here like normal. Do one here for a guy that gets stuck there at the end, sometimes. And then just chuck two over here somewhere. So I want to stay behind this line as much as possible. I can't do it always, but... Kill this guy who spawns here. Kill this helicopter as it's coming down. It's obviously easier. Um, I want to kill some more of these dudes. Yep. I think they hit my procs there. So I need to kill three guys at the front. Then the uh, guys up here. Oh. Ah. That's not a good shot. Then I need the few guys who spawn here. Got one, got two. The car should do me. Yep. Okay, and then Franklin and Michael can kill everyone here. So I don't need to do anything more. If I can get one of these guys, it'd be good though. I got one. I got him too, nice. Look at Michael just running around in a circle there. What the fuck is he doing? You see that? See, people are trying to shoot at me, even though I'm all the way up here. You guys, like, just stop shooting at me? 
They need to kill one more. Yes, yes. Wait, there's three there? Three just stuck there? What the fuck? What does this correspond to? It looks like it's on the tow truck. It's an interesting bug. Alright, well that works. Almost clipped the edge there though. So hopefully both these guys can die to Franklin's C4. That will hopefully still be there, which is not a guarantee. Ah, my C4 is not still there anymore. That sucks. It does look like they're both there too. Guess we're all strutting our way away. I do wonder what causes that C4 to disappear though. Okay, and away we go. Look at that security guy just driving away. He is not good at his job. Uh, isn't this the song that I, f I failed with a lot? At least I'm not in a situation where I can fail right now. Okay, we made it despite the opposition of the song. Let's get down to business to defeat the run. So switch to Franklin here to get him some gear for later. Much better than taxiing. The taxis do not like being anywhere near the Devon Weston's house. They run into walls and shit. Being on a bike here though was not ideal. Now I have to drive really carefully. I look tired as fuck, not gonna lie. In this case, appearances are not deceiving. I look exactly as I am. I look like garbage. Because that is what I am. Why you just killed that fucking coyote? What an arsehole. Imagine killing animals in a video game. Truly a sign of a terrible person. Can I tell you a story? I can. It'd be the most great, greatest story you've ever heard. But I'm not going to do it. It would destroy all other stories for the rest of your life. Like no other story could ever possibly compete. Your entire life would be downhill from the moment that I told you a story. So I wouldn't want to do that to you. I'm just too kind of a person. So I'm still going to do this fire strat with Rocco here, even though it's largely unnecessary. For To do it though, I have to go get myself a fuel tank from the ammunition. $25, it's a steal. May as well buy all the other gear while I'm here. I'm gonna remove this suppressor now. And put the suppressor on this one. Hope it doesn't come to bite me in the arse later. The reason is because the suppressor causes the weapon to do less damage. And in the final fight, I'm gonna be using Michael. And changing weapon makes you move slower. So I only can really use my first weapon my first assault rifle, which happens to be that one. So if it has a suppressor on it, I'm basically stuck doing less damage. So I'm gonna remove it now. Yeah, the suppressor causes you to do less damage. Like the most pronounced I've ever seen it is when I was practicing using the marksman rifle on derailed, the save file I was using started the marksman rifle with a suppressor and it would take twice as many shots to take down the helicopter. It was ridiculous. It actually prevented me from practicing, so I had to use the mod to remove the suppressor every single time to do practice. Okay, so I need to make sure to switch to my second weapon here to make sure I have the suppressor. I guess I could just use the pistol or whatever, but... Whatever. Yeah, so as I showed in facts and glitches, Rocco's passive whenever you have a weapon out, and then you can just burn him alive. Any other weapon doesn't work. It fails you, but the fire from this works. So you can see the fire. You thought wrong. I mean, do men not burn each other alive? I wonder why he falls on the wall like that. I guess he keeps trying to dive away. Was doing this like men. Manly men of fire. You scared of a beaten old man? Put it away. The old man pulled his piece. 
Jerry the Jerry It's a good thing the fire doesn't spread. Because a lot of this is flammable around here. Those even explode a bit with fire. I'm always concerned there's going to be like one pixel of fire that hasn't disappeared or something. I am. I am actually scared of a beating. Maybe not from you, but from Simeon. Is he not gonna get... Uh, come on, man. Okay, we good now, my dude? Thank you. Hooray! I won the completely legitimate fist fight. Have I ever died walking into the blades of a heli in the speed run? Absolutely, in some very hilarious, funny ways. Like that one time I landed the helicopter slightly on its side, and then I got out to do military hardware, and I got hit by the blades. It was great. Great times. No, my favorite. When I landed the helicopter on some rocks to get a collectible, and when I got out, it warped me into the air. Like, it didn't just let me out the, the helicopter normally. It, like, put me out, warped me in the air, and then I fell into the blades. Waiting out this dirt so I don't miss these shots. Oh no, dear, why? I was firing a gun. Did you not realize something bad was going to happen? I was actually worried it was going to run at me or something. It's so peaceful. Nope. It's just sleeping, chat. Don't worry. Bambi's mother will come home. Later. So I am going to just drive too deep inside. The chance of coming out of the taxi and being hit by a car is higher here than anywhere else. I don't think it's ever happened in a run, but it has happened in speedrunning, so I will just uh, drive to avoid that eventuality. Or I should say possibility. That possible eventuality. So there is a strat you can do here just to pick off the guards so you don't have to bo bother with alt strat. But... While it's fairly easy, the there is probably a higher chance of failing that shooting than there is failing ult strat, so I'm just going to keep using ult strat. As much as I don't like ult strat, it is the safer option, therefore it has to be used. Hey everyone, bye everyone, very slowly. Get out of the way. Uh, splat. Oh, that was a weird hit. Didn't really go up on the front of my car. Let's try this guy. Success. Say his gun's kind of fading out of reality there. So there's two strats here. One where I just despawn the guys. Two, if they happen to spawn in the wrong place, I throw C4 on their cars and then blow them up. They cannot... Or well, they don't fire back at me unless they get out of the car, or I shoot at them with a gun. Throwing C4 on them, they are not particularly worried about, so they do not fire at me. How could C4 possibly hurt us, they say arrogantly. Good to hit this guy though. Where's he diving? Don't you dive away from me, you bitch. Ah, ah crap, he's put me into the wall. Ouch. Bastard. What are you, what are you doing to me, man? What are you doing? Oh, they spawned. Shit. Maybe I'm going there too fast now. Oh, the car flips. So, big problem here. Did he stop? He stops. What? Oh. He stopped and got out of the car. That was weird. A big problem here is that this woman screws in my car, making my driving not make sense. So I don't know why that car flipped over, but it did, so uh, that's okay. Here we are, guys, at major turbulence. It has been, you know, promoted from minor turbulence to major turbulence because of how much problems it's caused for me. Rockstar rewards those who do good deeds, including fucking me over. So hopefully I can get close enough here that I won't have to put on much old strat, but uh, I can be shot here technically. Uh, hello? Okay. I can die here? Go faster? What the hell? Um, hello? 
Um, the plane is going really slow. I've never had that happen to that severe extent before. I hope I can get down here fast enough. Um, I hope I don't tap the edge here. I have no idea where the rocket is. Um, he's already fired one. And now it's going too fast. Uh, okay. Tilt, 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 tilt. Um, it's actually going faster than me a little bit. Nah, no, it's slowed down. Game is just fucking with me now. Going just really slowly. The second car's in the way of the first. That's really terrible. Oh, it's going, it's going. Corpse is stopping it, but it should eventually go. It wants to go. Okay. Did not help. Wow, this is this is like the worst I've ever seen this. Yeah, maybe that might be good. These bodies though are really screwing me still. I can line it up until the cows come home, but there's these two bodies being here are just uh ruining for me. I'm 90% sure that's still gonna be fine, but Once that's gone, should be okay. Oh yeah, I can I can jump it. Like I could I could go at any point here. Just it's less risky just to let it go. All of this is just risk management. Like I can I can clearly walk by or jump over and stuff. It's just not worth the risk. It is dangerous, Trevor. Get out of my cockpit! Have we got a pilot on board? One of these days, his gun firing after he dies is gonna kill me and I'm gonna cry. Well, I'm not gonna a Imagine none of those cops looking across the street and being like, hey, wait a second. There's a guy with a bike and like, you know, two guys in the car. Maybe they have something to do with something that happened here. Nah, fuck it, we'll let him go. Yeah, they definitely don't know something about something. So here we are again with my glorious tank, waiting for the military hardware to spawn. Boom. Boom. Protecting my hatch here. Dude. Imagine getting hit by a tank and just deciding to get back up. Are you... Dude! Okay. Bitch. Just getting it off the road so I don't get hit by cars. 
Just gonna leave the tank like that. It will warp back into Trevor's airfield and I can use it for Lamar down. Um, yeah, I should get Trevor weapons again. I don't really need them, but I may as well. Hope you're gonna pay this time, Trevor. You, you hope, hope what? what? The okay. cheek of it. Don't break anything or hurt me. The cheek of it. Here we Scott go, guys. Polito score. So many problems can arise, but never should a problem arise. Yeah. And that's what makes all the problems that happens on this mission very frustrating. The strats are good. There's no reason for anything to go wrong, but somehow things still go wrong. The C4 actually disappeared last time. Don't. So the walking here is more difficult than it looks like, the camera changes angle as you're moving, changing the buttons that you need to press to continue to move directly straight backwards. Okay. So 35 seconds after the red dot appears, Michael will die. But I want to wait as long as possible to shoot down this helicopter. Where's the helicopter? So I don't really need to use all the strat here to move forward here, but just me as well. So I'm gonna wait until Michael is in a safe spot here to switch. These guys will spawn infinitely, but at some point they're not in a spot to really attack him. No, he's, yeah, see, he keeps coming. He was actually shooting at me there. Trevor being a distraction here is actually pretty good. Yes, I'm impressed you can reload, Michael. Please move. Yeah, that's, that's great, Michael. That's, that's fantastic. Just move to the right. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, so wait for Trevor. The reason why things screwed up for me that one time is because I didn't open the fence quick enough. Now that that's open, things should be fine. The fence had a family, you monster. Tell me where they live. I'll uh, put them out of their misery. You get him, Trevor, with that minigun. So wait till he gets to the other side and switch to him. The fire shouldn't be a problem. Really, really concerned about hitting the uh, house there. Come on, Michael. Uh, two guys dead alive, that sucks. This guy likes to respawn. Yeah, he stayed dead, okay, but that guy in the corner is also annoying. Can't really get him as easily though. Okay. Let's uh, spawn these guys in. Gonna make sure I don't switch to Michael here. He spawned in, you can see on the map. Holding a grenade still is fine. I mean, they're shooting the grenade, I'm already dead. And grenades don't explode when you hit them anyway. I'm gonna try and get this guy. It's around the corner, so it's unlikely I can get him though. He's actually moved away. What a dick. Should help with this first. This is it. Let's go. Go. Right 
Got one more. There's a guy through here. I'm still watching on the map just to make sure that guy doesn't come to me. Wherever he is, I don't think I can hit him here. No. This might take a while. This guy is running over here. Where is he going though? Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, it didn't matter. That that kind of spooked me there. <laughs> they progressed really quickly there for some reason. I'll still use alt strat here. There should be no one here who can hurt me, but I just uh just a little bit safer. Didn't hit either of those cars? There we go. Uh, didn't get very many though. There's a guy who's close here, which is annoying. There he is. Okay. Ah. I only need a couple of guys here. Like playing whack-a-mole. There you go. I got hit. I'm not getting hit. I don't know what that is. Me and my grenade got hit? Aren't hit markers on the edge? Yeah, presumably the the grenade is hitting something, right? Yeah, hit markers on the edge of the screen. I'll show you what they're talking about. I don't know what this is. There's literally nothing that could be hitting me. And Or is that me being hit? Is that what this is? But why didn't I die? If I actually got hit, I would be dead. And what are these things? Maybe a part of the armor not connected to me got hit? The armor can't save me because the armor does nothing. Oh, it hit the bag? Whatever it's hitting, it's not me. It's, it must be hitting an accessory. Because it will flash when it goes through stuff. But if it hit me, I would be dead. I'm not sure what could hit me there, though. So, as always, taking the weird path here so the enemies don't spawn. I'm not gonna reset. The only time I reset from shit like that is when I'm invulnerable and I take damage. The red markers are associated with anything that I own being hit. Um, if my gun muzzle gets hit, there's a flash. That's kind of stupid. Yeah, it is. But, you know. The mod works and that's all that matters. And one guy here. This guy is a bit annoying. There we go. What? That tank is not meant to be doing that. What the fuck? That tank isn't meant to be there. I didn't switch to C4 first. Um, should still be fine to do this. The angle is not very good. It's a little bit low. What a terrible throw. There's no way even close. Um, you know us. what? I'm going to go again for this guy. Rather than resetting. Okay. Go. Go. So the problem with this scene is that Trevor and Michael can only kill some of these guys, not all of them. 
So I have to help with some guys. So it's just this extra guy who doesn't like to come in sometimes. So I have two choices. I can either try to bait him in or just trigger the next scene. And usually I just trigger the next scene. Let me look at that in one sec, Dan. Keep the clip for after the mission. It's overly cautious doing it this long. So wait for these two guys to go in as a distraction. So Michael and Trevor can't kill basically anyone in here, so I have to just pick them off as I can. Where'd he go? Oh. Okay. Why were they all spawned so early? Normally you set up C4 and stuff, but they were just all there. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, let me just... while I'm here. Where's that clip? Okay. Ah. Did I miss it? Okay. Oh. What could have caused it though? There's no enemies. Oh, they. But why am I not dead? It must be my weapon getting hit, but where are the bullets coming from? Like, we even looked here before. There were no enemies here. If you can. Oh, there's another one here. I got it's, it's not a bug. So, there is a small possibility that enemies survive from the previous scene. Maybe it's possible that they're unable to, da to, da to do damage when you progress forward. But either way, this is done. I, I'm not continuing after this. Uh, I'm not sure what this is hitting, but uh, the no hit is definitely dead. Um, let me just test if the mods fucks. Because it's- I know it's not- I, I know- I have to! Like, I've- I'm, I'm clearly getting hit here. I clearly am. I'm assuming this is just... a bug of some kind. Both those guys surviving and them not being able to do damage to me. But it is a hit. And I, uh, I, I won't accept this. Yeah, so the mod isn't broken, it's the game that's broken. So I guess we've just found another exceptionally rare, very bullshit thing that can occur. And that is just uh, my life, unfortunately. I just once more got extraordinarily unlucky. And uh, if you expected anything else, then uh, I believe your expectations were faulty. Man actually reads chat. I read all of chat. I just ignore most of it because I don't like you people. <laughs> If I didn't respond to your message, it's not because I didn't see it. I saw it. I judged you, and I found you wanting, and so ignored it. <laughs> you just didn't want to die. Understandable, because neither do I. Can't really judge NPCs for not wanting to die when I don't want to either. Do we ever get the lore for the local yokel? Yeah, heaps of it, man, in the single-player DLC for GTA 5. What, you haven't played it? You haven't gone on the adventures with the local yokel? You're really missing out. I recommend you uh, googling that and uh, playing that. So going over the snow here to put some distance between me and the guys at the roadblock. Ouch. Dead. And the game ends because no one could survive that. Why doesn't the train kill me though? Because trains don't cause damage in real life and GTA 5 perfectly emulates the real world. You don't believe me? Go step in front of a train. Common misconception about the damages of train trains in real life, guys, I swear. No, don't do that. No, it's just because in a cutscene, it doesn't count as doing damage to me because I'm not in control of the character. What the fuck is Cat Jam? This is Cat Jam. Oh, 
Yeah. I guess that'll be human jam, but close enough. Chat, the reason why I skip it is because I have a yee yee ass haircut and it's too personal, okay? Lamar savaging Franklin makes me feel like he's savaging me. There's nothing I can do about my hair, chat. It always looks stupid. I don't need that kind of uh, unjustified criticism. Have you practiced all the missions that include Jizzle? Yeah, man, I have a lot of experience with Jizzle. Jizzle ain't a problem for me. Will I get this guy today? Yes. Okay. Look, guys, it's that burning guy again. Having fun there? Okay. Does the queen still owe me? The queen still owes everyone, my dude. She's the queen, man. What am I gonna do? Go and beat her up? I got no problems with beating up an old woman, but the queen? I'm sure I would suffer some sort of reprimand or backlash for doing such a thing. It's the only thing preventing me from uh, going to the UK to beat up the queen for my $15. Fucking bureaucracy, man. Government always keeping the little guy down. Preventing him from doing what he wants, like beating up an old woman. Matter versus Queen. UFC fight when? Hey man, there's a lot of YouTubers who uh, are doing boxing matches recently. I mean, I think the Queen has been in some YouTube videos. That's close enough. I mean, maybe I should uh, send out a challenge. Nah, she wouldn't fight me, man. She's fucking scared. Look at these guns, man. No, no chance. <laughs> Dark Pepper, he is now streaming Beating the Queen. No damage run. <laughs> So the strat here of making Simeon pacifist doesn't turn out to be as consistent as I hoped. Uh, either he can screw it up or I can screw it up just on the basis of, you know, human error. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to kicking him down on the ground. It doesn't fail all that much. What is it, like 1 in 20, 1 in 30 or something? Yeah, he's just down. Turns out that the attack that he does, he does a very strong attack that can't be dodged. And it can't be dodged because I'm only 1 HP. It's his finishing move, which is undodgeable. So it's a good thing I never picked up dodging strats there, because I would have died endless times practicing it. Have I ever died in real life? Once, but I got better. Okay, aim and shoot. That's the aim of the game. The wave fucked me. Wave totally fucked me there. At least I wasn't punished for it. Hey man, how's it going? I just want you to hold this bullet for me. Thanks, man. I'll come back for it later. I'm not gonna come back. You're gonna keep that bullet. Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm not sorry. Look out. Okay. Thanks. Right what? Uh, well. That's great. Um, I have no idea why I have the cops on me right now. And a helicopter? Helipop helicopter probably gonna shoot and kill me? Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. That scared the fuck out of me. That's what I was trying to do, but I thought you had to go a little bit further away. Okay, never mind. That was a lot closer than I thought. Not sure why I got the cops there. But, uh, that's just how the game works sometimes. Uh, well, I should say doesn't work sometimes. Are you- f There is enough space to open the door! Whatever. Or just warp me and that's fine too, game. God damn. Sometimes it don't work, but it works. You know? Read my message? No. I will never read a single message of yours for as long as I live. Wait a second, but I read that message where you told me to read your message. Oh no. You got me. These guys really don't like to die. One lived. Chef can take him out, but it's easier just to try to get him with some grenades. 
So now that there's only two left alive, the car spawns here. They're slowly coming around. They must be so close. One's coming up. Right there. Where is this guy? He's right below Chef. Crazy dude. Surely that's gonna hit him. He's gone. Oh, come on, dude. He's finally come, but I'm in a worse spot now. Yeah. Yeah, make this shoot out a little bit harder now. Doesn't really matter though. The second there, I thought that was going to miss. Into our cooking time. Not too bad. Bit slow, but not too bad. The sticky bombs I threw are for a van that appears there. Really? Thank you. Clipped him with a bullet apparently. He's, he's dead, right? Okay. So there's a new strat here where I keep firing at this van. Doesn't matter if it explodes. And then I let the cutscene play out. For whatever reason, this makes it so the enemies continue to drive forward during the cutscene. So they're way ahead of me by the time it ends. This isn't really safer than alt strat, but it does mean I don't have to do alt strat, which will save us a lot of time. I should be, in general, less of an inconvenience. See how they're all down there now? It will now be intentionally mission failing here. There you go. Not much different, except it is less tedious. Write death note into a death note. The death note is inanimate and does not have a life. It's funny, me and the death note have something in common. That we both kill people. Ha <laughs> ha, you see, see, you, you thought I was going to say that we both don't have a life. But no, it's the murdering thing. The murdering thing is what we have in common. <laughs> Let's see if I can achieve my dream here. By pushing a chair into this guy. Be very careful. Ah, uh, ah, uh, nah. Steve got a stuck again. Oh, and knock that chair over. Oh. No. This guy's easy to get, man. I want the other guy with the chair. Part human, part chair. It's Two-Face. Maybe. Nope. No, well. I'll get one more minigun. Hey, man. This might be the last time we get to see each other. Is there anything you want to say? Ah, no? Nothing? He happy. That, that guy is high as fuck. He has no idea where the fuck he is. Okay, let's go. Bah. Speed limits. Bleh. Chat, stop. Just stop it. Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna talk, call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop. I feel like killing the pigo. 
Hello, Pico. Bye bye, Pico. <laughs> Got some nice air there. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I'm taking this hatch and putting it directly behind me. It's funny because these guys are lookouts. You can see him looking out and he's like, Well, nothing unusual out there. Oh no. He found the cook side. I did. That's crazy as hell. That guy's dead. It's just Trevish, please. Trevor. Thank you. I did. It is done. Gin ice cream chat. Enough for everyone. I'll send it through the mail. That's a pretty bad idea. Well, you don't want ice cream? Fine. More ice cream for everyone else. So the biggest risk in this mission is that when enemies die, their guns will frequently still go off even though they're dead. And if I miss a shot here, the chance of me dying is fairly high. Wait, he's got stuck on the body there, what the hell? You see that shit? What the fuck was that? Literally didn't have enough time for a second shot. I was holding it literally as long as possible. There was no chance for a second shot. I'm at least happy to finally have a run die to something I did. I mean, at least I had my own face in my hands. I missed a shot by a pixel. At least this is on me, not like 97% of the runs that we've lost in the last six months, which have nothing to fucking do with whatever I did. Welcome to the house of pain. Hello and welcome to what is hopefully I have to reset because I have one death. Where is he? Wait, stop. Wait, what? 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 Why did you stop over there? Ah, oh, you just... I think you fell over. Can you come back, please? Is he over there now? Where the, where the fuck is he? Hello? That's Lamar. Oh, he killed him. That's quite uncommon. Got him. Will this be a full run? Haha, <laughs> my friend. If you consider a full run to be a run that ends in some sort of failure, then yes, this will be a full run. Have no doubt. Favorite character out of the three? Michael. He's the most relatable. I too have a wife with big fake tits and two children I don't love. <laughs> He's just so relatable to my life. So I'm going back to fighting Simeon Legis, because I want to give him a chance. Let's be real, he has no chance. I'm just too goddamn good. I shouldn't say that, because he's going to kick my ass. Please don't do it, Simeon. Okay, thank you. Thank you. He didn't want to make me look stupid. He gave up. Good job. Hitting him in the ass, as you should. One last shot in the head. Why did I choose to be a speedrunner? I didn't choose it. It was forced upon me. It was face. The world needed me to be a speedrunner, or the world was doomed, and you know, as much as I don't really give a shit about the world, didn't feel like I wanted to doom it because I didn't want to be a speedrunner. I am obligated to be a speedrunner, for the benefit of you all. Please sub with Twitch Prime. Is Michael a good father? Michael is, is as much a good father as I am a competent human being, which is to say not at all. Alrighty. Let's go. Waves were good. Shooting was average. Good stuff. Gonna make dinner. Don't die in the next 15 minutes. There's a tall ask, my dude. Hey, look, a horse. Sometimes you have to appreciate the simple things in life, chat. I think we can all agree that the only horses that should be in any game are those that are stationary and made into statues. How good a game is should be defined by how few horses move around in the game. Doesn't Heroes of Might and Magic 3 have horses? Okay, you pointed out one small flaw in my reasoning here, okay? <laughs> Hello, old friends. You have something that I want? Something that I will take? Say something if you don't want me to take your car. 
Are we good? Good. Good. They're like, oh, Dark Fab is not doing GTA 5. Done. Well, I guess I'll go watch something else then. I like these people. Good people. Damn, I got the cops on me again. Not that that really matters, mind you, but still. They just spawned a cop directly in front of me? Two feet in front of me? Really? Is that really appropriate? Is that fair game? I personally do not agree. A helicopter in the daytime? Really now? Yeah, to find a way back down to the road. I'm not gonna help that dude. Screw him. Easy. They'll never find that body. It's hidden so well. The perfect crime. Yeah. What was my contribution to Australia's war against the kangaroos? Uh, I was an informant for the kangaroos. They paid really well. Fuck humanity. I'm happy the kangaroos won. Oh, Jesus, that was closer than normal. Holy shit. That guy has never knocked me off, but he has hit me before. I think I'm going to have to save and call it here, guys. As much as I keep trying to force myself to do these runs, uh, it, it is slowly killing me. Force myself to continue a few too many runs. I actually took this bit of damage at the very end of the game at the final shootout, which is obviously very close to perfect. But it... Dang it. Close. Very close. Imagine getting to the end only to just barely fail. Of course, I'm talking about the intro, not my personal best in this game. <laughs> Hi, Matt. I'm a Brit. I've never seen Australian. Why aren't you upside down and fighting a kangaroo? Because uh, I've beaten all the kangaroos who will fight me. They're too afraid now. And I use special software to flip me the right way up. The more you know. How do you kill everyone so quickly? Have you done this before? Uh, I paid them to die. Not as expensive as you might think. Do you think we love you or hate you? There are a definite large amount of people who do not like me. There are a lot of people who do like me. And unfortunately, from a distance, they look exactly the same. I would greatly appreciate if people would start wearing some sort of uh, external badge or something that communicated whether they liked me or disliked me. <laughs> I don't like the mystery, man. Everyone wear green if you like me. Everyone wear purple if you don't like me. Okay? It's that simple. Do I think the 3,000 people watching me hate me? I mean, presumably at least someone likes me. <laughs> Will I get him today? Oh! Glorious. Oh, oh, didn't move very fast enough. Okay. I'm back to fighting Simeon legit because the way that you kind of glitched him out and passed us or whatever doesn't seem perfectly consistent because he does this finishing move when you're on low HP that can't be dodged and he's always on low HP. Yeah, so that's the finishing move. You can't dodge that attack. That's unfortunate. It's funny because without the mod, I don't think this could ever possibly happen because all of his other attacks are slower. So as always, all these guys do not have guns they can use in cars, so I can just kill them while they're in cars without any risk. Except that guy, I let him get out because I'm being nice. <laughs> this aim is juicy. Ah, uh, unfortunately, after playing the game for 8,000 hours, even the slightest little bit of my cursor not being on an enemy uh, fills me with sadness. It's just never good enough. All shooting is bad. I've been cursed with knowledge that most people do not have. <laughs> or maybe just unrealistic standards, one of the two. Let's get over the snow here so that I put some distance between me and the roadblock because those guys can shoot me. Even though they've only shot me once, it could happen again at any time because that is the nature of this run. Things can go perfectly a thousand times and then suddenly an NPC will decide to do something it's never done before and I will fail. Oh, got him. I really didn't think I was going to get in there. Come to me. You know the nanosecond he actually moves over, I won't be prepared for it. Ah. Always. Aw, oh, he's sleeping. Looks so relaxed. So Simeon has this punch that if he does it, it's a one-hit kill. Like, it's the fastest thing, you can't dodge it. I just have to hope he doesn't do it. 
Oh, he almost did it. He just delayed ever so slightly. The only reason he does that is because the mod puts me at one HP. So Simeon's like, I gotta go for the finishing blow. And you just gotta get lucky that he doesn't do it. Screw you, tree. Okay. Waves be kind. That was terrible. I shot, like, around him in every capacity. There was just a second there of, oh, he didn't die. Best do something about this. Wasn't a comfortable second. The Bugska, Bugsters guy had a family. Yeah, it is kind of cruel I didn't kill them too. But I got better things to do. Maybe I'll get them later. Should I kill the bird, chat? I'm gonna kill the bird. I personally think this is the only way I can succeed. This bird too. And that one too. You watch, I'm gonna get the cops and fail. But I missed the shot. That means I need to stop. Surely killing those, those birds somehow guarantees me success. I'm not sure how, but... This game is kind of weird. You never know. Maybe that's just the, the thing I need to do to succeed. Sit back and watch the show, you useless pricks. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Wade, my dude. You, you're kind of in the way now, my dude. Oh. Thank you. Ah. I'm in the wrong fucking spot. Damn it, Wade. Weird. The reason you stand here is because your feet are covered by the tires, but because Wade's directly there, I can't really stand here. Easy. Without the obstacle of cougars, the mission is a piece of cake. Clearly in GTA 6, Rockstar should add cougars to every single mission to add a little bit of difficulty. If cougars stands for older women, what do you call older men? Walruses. Fat with weird facial hair. We don't need to. No, and they slide need around on their it's stomachs. Get out doors, get out doors. So hopefully I can just get these guys. That's not what I was trying to do. That looked really good to me. Come on, man. Okay, Chef gets them anyway, but still. There we go. Making sure I picked up the weapon there. Easy. What's my ancestry? Uh, my father was a badger, and my mother is a turtle. I say was in regards to my father because he got better. He's alive? What? 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 Confused. This guy on the right doesn't shoot, so it isn't he isn't a concern. Wow, how did he get past those bullets, my dude? Let's go, Ronald! The first goddamn shots I miss is actually you're kidding, you can't be serious. That actually kills the run. Unless I get them all with the C4 now. That blocks my shots to the car over there. There's nothing I can do. It's just Armin J. He gets caught on sync and flings himself upwards. Um. Get me to that plate. Mm. Okay. So got him with the C4. I was watching on the map for when they got out, but I guess he missed it. That was so unlucky, dude. 
Doesn't matter where you shoot on the tanker, it can just get caught on something and fling itself into the air. Your C4 isn't just about... I, I didn't do the other strat. Fuck. There's a strat you can do here so you don't have to use alt strat, but uh, I forgot about it because I was so flustered there. So I guess I'm using alt strat. The equally is safe, it's just uh, alt strat takes 10,000 years. So here, the guy is spawned with guns and there's even a possibility of them firing through alt strat, so I have to angle my plane in their direction. I'm sorry my uh, getting thrown off there has caused me to have uh, forgotten to do the other strat. That guy's not having a good day. Serves him right for getting on my plane. Oh! There's a lot more shots than I expected. When you're that high, their ability to get an angle sufficient to shoot you is basically non-existent, but why put it to chance? I just got sick of using old strat. It's so goddamn boring and slow. What's my net worth? Uh, four jars of pickles and half a cat. I won't tell you which half. You might, of course, ask, where do I keep the half of the cat? Obviously, in one of the jars of pickles. Obviously. Where else would I keep it? I got nothing else. I so know I can kill these guys without any consequences, but still won't take the risk. Because you never know what the game might do. Oh. My bad, bruh. I wanted this chair, bruh. Man, just no. Free the chair. Free it. No. Okay, this one. This one here. Gotta go to into here. Okay, now up here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh. He's fine. Um, I don't know if he's dead. Uh, I ain't gonna touch that. I'm pretty sure he's dead. I don't know why he died, because normally it just merges into him, but look, I didn't do this, man. I didn't kill anyone, man. Look at this shady looking motherfucker right here. This this guy clearly did it. So I'll tell anyone who asks. So fortunately, I'm getting this tank away from enemies, because weird things can happen. Ah, oh, okay, see, he just got warped out like that. Okay, it's weird. That is the guy from the tank. The game's weird, okay? Where is Pigo? Run, Pigo! Run! Be free! Psych. Psych. If I can't be free, Pigo can't be free either. That guy's actually shooting at me. Who does he think he is? Or two guys. That, that body went far. Oh, look at that bounce, dude! Windows doing their job. Hey, the gnome lived. Which gnome is at this time? Ah, it is the gnome showing his ass. Very good. Gnome thinks he's better than me. Tell you a story? Once upon a time, there were a bunch of people in chat who wanted a streamer to tell them a story. And that streamer was like, I don't got a story to tell people. What the fuck am I going to say to these people? What are they going to make up a story on the spot? Who do they think I am? And so then he just described what was going on, pretending it was a story, and they left satisfied. The end. I'm tempted, like, to buy my... <coughs> to buy myself a new voice. No. I'm tempted to buy myself, like, half a dozen children's books. Like a children's book that you could read in five minutes or something. And then when people spam, tell us a story, I just grab one of these books and actually read it. <laughs> Happy the elephant has lost his balloon. Where did it go? <laughs> okay. Missed a shot, but it wasn't a crucial one. Hello, friendo. Will you make it out today? He did. Congratulations, man. You win a swift death. Oh, 
Hello? Took your sweet fucking time, my dude. Fuel. I don't know what's going on here, but I want to fuck out. This might be some of the worst shooting I've ever, I've ever done, and I was never punished. Damn, that was scary. Yeah, so I'm just going back to killing the four guys and using the car and hoping the helicopter's in the right spot. Didn't shoot the window. Um, helicopter's in a good spot, but the car here isn't. Um, I'm trying to see if I get a black arrow. No, I won't. Uh, no, no black arrow. That sucks. They haven't seen me yet, though, but they will. They don't have black arrows, so I am going to get screwed. Yep. Yep. I am going to uh, not even slightly go in the direction I'm meant to be going. I'm going to go back this way. It's a little bit too close. Yeah, I'm probably fine to take it off now. Wait a little bit longer, though. What happens if you don't release your breath? Ah, uh, you die. You explode. Bits fly everywhere. Scary. Ah, <sighs> don't like the look of this. That's perfect. It's like fucking pixel frame perfect. Except that it's going upwards. Which means it's going to take longer to go downwards. It means it's longer that the game can uh, screw me. Like, he should be too far away to be able to hit me. Because I got him first shot. But... He's, he's basically upside down now. How could I any of those guys shoot at me now? Okay. Oh, there it is. Cool. Is GTA bullets hit skin or projectile? Yes. Mission is very intense, someone told me. Ah, oh, yeah, man. Super action-packed. Look at this beanie. The action intensity of this beanie. Wow. What city would you want GTA 6 to take place in? Um, my city. Actually, no, that would suck. Then a lot of people would be around here and that would suck. A Martian city. A real Martian city in the sense that Humans go to Mars and make a city within the next 10 days, and GTA 6 is set in that city. Genius idea. Actually, matter of fact, Rockstar should fund the building of a city on Mars, specifically to use as inspiration for GTA 6. Hmm. This bus is not comfortable. Ah! My god! I saw salmon pink. And salmon pink we shall have. Now we stun. That lady had a family, you monster. I can't kill everyone. I don't have time to kill people's families. Gotta finish this run. So this first room can be easily done by these two, but helping a bit does speed things along. Shooting through the wall again, as you do. Like if this was a speedrun, for example, I would have perfect lines to throw C4 in particular spots to blow them at particular times. But there's no reason to go that kind of effort. The scary part here is if I move out and throw this, then he comes out. It is he coming? Oh, he came ready. See? <laughs> Look at that guy just chilling here. <laughs> I hate this dude. Should have got the shotgun. Okay, good. Trigger Lamar to go downstairs. Only when Lamar just lets him get off that shot. Got all four just barely. Delayed it a small amount to allow that. 
So I have to somewhat rely on Lamar and Stretch here. It's fire. Okay, let's not go over there. Stretch is stopped around the corner in the fire, according to the map. Okay, he's going through now. Okay, they're moving through, so I'll move in too. Kill him. Oh my god, dude. They're being particularly bad today. Is he dead? He's dead. You're not, you're not dead? Is he getting back up? Okay. No, I think he's dead now. Okay, so we've got one more. So I can just pop out and shoot him right in the head. Take a nano second. Shouldn't have done that, dude. It shows how impatient I'm getting. I, I fucked up. Made the shoot open the door, not move through this one. Haven't made that mistake ever. What is the color of the cat gonna be, chat? Is a black cat. Hello? Uh, any single one of those bullets hit either of those two guys. That ain't risky. It just none of the bullets hit. I kept moving to change to the other guy and just none of the bullets hit. I was like, oh, it's, it's still not hitting. So I would move back and it would just, I'd shoot a few more and it just still wouldn't. I would have just started click firing, but I just have never seen it be that inaccurate before. I was meant to set up a buffered ledge grab here. Do I care? I can't do it because uh, I've already uh, arrived here. Because you can't take cover now. So I'd have to mission fail and go back in. I'm just not sure um, how far we have to move to mission fail, or if it is even possible. I could reload the auto save, but that would cause problems too. Uh, mission failing this may influence the cops at the end. There may not even be a fail condition for this. I have a vague recollection that that's the case. Yeah, I'll just do the mission without it. So there's like a frame here before I can alt strat. Yeah, I'm fine. He's, he, I've never seen him fire a bullet before in my life. It missed me, and then I walked through the trail of the bullet. I want to quit this run so badly, you have no idea. Cars haven't arrived yet. There's a guy coming towards me. Both of these things are wrong. He's running away. Finally, the cars have arrived. They did arrive, right? No? Where the fuck are they? Finally. Very strange. And now they just killed like a bunch so quickly. It was a really strange run. Oh, he's moving up immediately? What the fuck? What is this run? I normally can shoot these guys, but there's just so many alive. There goes Trevor. So the dude that's on the map next to Trevor is the guy. If he dies, Trevor moves up. Oh, I shouldn't be able to duck up like that. Normally at this angle. Hmm, strange. I can still do it here. That's weird. Maybe I've wedged myself over slightly bit more or something. I still can't do this angle here. Just a little bit sharper. There's a guy in the middle of the street that makes me concerned. That'll get that. That's the guy. Okay. Trevor is low HP. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, it's taking a long time to fall. That's not good. It's actually really terrible. There we go. Okay. okay. Do I consider myself a caveman? Absolutely. If you come near me, I'll hit you with a club. If I have a successful run, will I indicate it in the title? I'm not going to tell you, dude. So then you have to watch every single video. Ha 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 So I don't feel 100% right now, chat, but I'm going to give it my complete all. Going to give it 100% in attempts to, uh, uh, okay, I just failed immediately because I, uh, went here before I got that phone call. Rookie mistakes. But uh, I'm going to give it my all. Here we are again at Merryweather Heist. Somehow both an easy mission and a hard mission at the same time. So this mission at the beginning here is not too hard. Why? Well, who is this guy here? That guy's never there. What? That's actually impressive that none of those bullets hit. See, I hit the driver with that shot, but it kept going because it was fast at that point. I can't shoot now. Nice. That was good. If you shoot here, it can roll between these, and then you can't shoot the guys as they come out. Nice. Does Dark Viper AU mean Dark Viper Gold? No, it means Dark Viper Authentic. Because I'm the realest OG up in this bitch. I love that comment. Boo! <laughs> uh, you got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. Great song. What's my opinion on hot tub streamers? I don't know why people are so obsessed with hot tubs. Maybe they're like that guy who loves refrigerators. Maybe there's something in the mechanics of hot tubs that I'm just not understanding. What? Oh. What? Let's say. Okay. Three guys up here. Now Franklin and Michael will kill everyone themselves. Uh, there's one person really close to Franklin. I'm sure where though. Have to use old strat though. Where is he? Ah, oh, he's right on the other side there. I gotta start firing a rocket here just consistently. Without old strat, I just would have fired the rocket. I'm fairly certain nothing really bad happens there if you shoot a rocket there. Easy 420 blitz play. I mean, if this was a speed run, my dude, um, the strategies I'd be implementing would be very, very different. I wouldn't just be picking up four mini guns as a meme or hanging around deciding what color that I wanted the uh, mechanics. I wouldn't be doing drives that I could just taxi. That's obviously not a consideration. Okay, let's go. I need to sneeze. <laughs> Ow. I think that sneeze just took like three years off my life. I feel like I'm a bajillion years old right now. My entire body just seized. They docks low if I go? Really? Oh no. How will she do her homework? It's very difficult homework. I mean, uh, you know, she spent this long doing it. It's got to be very important to her. If she gets docked, people will like be banging on her walls and stuff or... Harassing her all day and all night, she won't get done. That girl trying to finish her homework is as eternal as me trying to finish her no damage run. 
Clearly, I just need an animated GIF of me at my PC trying to finish a no damage run with some lo-fi in the background. <laughs> opinion on Portal 2 Torrents. What a weird thing to ask. Do you have any opinions of this particular enemy in this particular video game that released a bajillion years ago? I need to know. It's important. Without this feedback, I don't know how I'm going to live the rest of my life. We have to find a way. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you shit. You'll never get out of me. You will never know my opinion of the tyrants in Portal 2. How does it feel to know your life will forever be incomplete? Okay, so I just have to immediately bring out a weapon and Rocco becomes docile as a small puppy. Who is this guy? I'm the Dark Viper AU. That guy that some people kind of think is okay sometimes. What a dive! <laughs> he seems to have trouble standing. Scared of a beaten old man. Yes. Put it away. And my boys are strapped too, if that's how you want to settle it. He burning, chat. He still wants to fight even after being burnt, man. You gotta give Rocco some credit there. And my boys are strapped too, if that's third degree burns. Yeah. Jerry the geriatrics got a piece. Okay. Did I lose to Rocco recently? Uh, no. As a matter of fact, doing that strategy caused me to lose a run recently. How? Um, I forgot the petrol tank and decided to go get it. And, uh, there was a small section where I didn't see that there was stuff underneath me. And so I jumped, and because of the way ragdolling works, it ragdolled me and I died. Do I remember Ken? You mean the speedrunner Ken? Can these nuts fit in your mouth? I see. Should have processed that one a few more times. Am I into fitness? No, not at all. Oh, fit this dick? Oh, I see. That's, that's, that's not even close though. Like, I don't want to answer any question because I fear it's somehow being turned around on me. <laughs> okay. So there is another strategy I could do here other than ult strat and it's like you stand at that place there and you trigger the security guards and you shoot them all as they're coming out. Um, which is certainly better than the other strategy from before where you kill all the security guards just where they're normally standing. But that takes a lot of effort and has more risk than simply using ult strat so I'm just going to use ult strat here. <sighs> this guy is fate to be eternally hit by me is a terrible face indeed. Up uh, into the wall. Ah, uh, I missed it. Okay, well, he, he, oh, he's not having a good day. Let's hope these guys do not spawn. Okay, they did not spawn this time. That's good. What is going on? What are you doing? Is this a kidnapping? Call okay. The So see how the guys spawn below me? This means they can't get to me. They would normally warp to me or rubber band to me, but they can't because I'm looking at them. As long as I drive very carefully, they will try to drive in that direction, putting distance between me and them, and then they despawn. Very good. Great strat. I didn't make it though. It's made by, made by a viewer a long time ago. It is time for the major turbulence. So I'm fairly close here. So I shouldn't have to use much alt, alt, alt strat here. Like it's very rare for you to be shot here, like exceptionally rare. Like it happened once in practice, for the, and for that reason, I uh, use alt strat here now. How'd that happen? It didn't even give me a chance. How did I die? <sighs> it 
So for those unaware, your head is out here for like a third of a second. And he didn't actually shoot at me. So um, he shoots at center mass. So he's missing here. He's missing his target because the shotgun, but he's happening to graze the top of my head here. So to, to, to explain this all, um, my head is here for about a third of a second. He has to miss. And see, see how high this is? It's about as low as he can possibly shoot. The, the pixel perfectness of this, you won't see this for the rest of your life. This is so pixel perfect that there's no reason to change his strategy. This will never happen again. He's actually missing me. But I'm guessing just a little bit of shrapnel is just grazing me. It's just my life, guys. Every run dies this way. You can do it a hundred million times in practice. And yet somehow, there will still be a way for the run to die that no one else has to experience but me. That's why this run is just a huge heaping pile of luck. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It costs you nothing and I wish you all the best.